One day I was like, hey, coach, remember how Duke guard Quinn Cook was a senior surrounded by a bunch of really talented freshmen when Coach K's squad won the national championship in 2015? And isn't this current North Carolina team kind of like that since you've got sort of an unsung senior in Nate Britt also surrounded by talented underclassmen? You know, I assure you that uh, nobody has more respect for Duke and their program and <laughs> I do, but I'd be damned if I'm on a pattern pattern what we're doing after them. So let's get that straight right now. Come on, coach. Look, Nate, tell him. I can see that similarity. Uh, and I've actually, I actually talked to Quinn about that. Quinn and I grew up together. We talked about his whole experience as, as being uh, the senior leader on that team and having guys with so much talent, yeah. talent come in and how to lead them and, and stuff like that. So uh, I can see that, that comparison being made. The difference is that Quinn was a big-time scorer and an emotional leader and a good defender. And uh, Nate so far hasn't uh, uh, got the scoring, uh, but guys do trust Nate. And I think that uh, uh, if Nate says, let's go to so-and-so restaurant, the guys usually say, okay, because they trust him. UNC junior Joel Berry II normally starts at point guard. He's been out of the lineup with a sprained left ankle. Britt's been running the team, not shooting it as well as Berry, but he had seven assists and five rebounds to go along with 11 points the other night during a successful comeback against Tennessee. After the game, Britt did not at all sound like a guy who feels like he's just biding time until Berry gets back. But think about it. Britt helped show Berry how to be a UNC point guard. And now Britt is helping freshman point guard Seventh Woods through his struggles. Those two get the attention. Britt just keeps it strictly business. I mean, everybody has different roles, and I think all of us are, are good at different things. When when Quinn was there at Duke, he was a knockdown shooter. So I remember Ross Cowan was on him. He gets no open looks at all. Uh, and he was real good in transition. So, I mean, everyone's different, but he had, like, he had Grace and he had Tyus and and those guys did different things. So uh, I think it's the same situation here. Whatever is best for the team. Joe shoots the crap out of the ball. Sevens is extremely good in transition and pushing the ball. And, and he's agile on defense. And it, like we have so many, so much talent that guys are good at different things in their different areas. So uh, obviously we want to concentrate on guys that we're their best at. Uh, that's what's going to make our team the best. I'm Harold Sun, sports writer John McCann.